All right. That's one. That's one. Satan's not here yet. Satan's not, I mean, Satan's coming, but uh, Satan's on his way. Let's bring up Achilles Helios to the stage. Achilles, I'm so glad to see you up here because I have a document or spell for you provided by someone you might be familiar with. Who's that? <laughs> it's someone you know. Okay. Well. Get in there. Yeah. A plus live means broken shit is on the stage all the time. All right. <laughs> what do we got here? I have a selection of poetry from AuthorsDen.com. A magic spell of evil provided by Montrith. And if, 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 if nothing summons Saint the Night, it will be this 666 by Ed Matlack. <laughs> 666, the sign of the devil, Satan, Beelzebub, his royal highness of hell, thief of souls. He keeps those he steals in a book of rolls. <laughs> okay. Charging the worst, tolls. His minions are guarded by that of trolls. Don't try to escape, as he will know and send you to the outermost reaches of his realm of fire and coals. The number that stands for him, as above, has nothing whatsoever to do with love. <laughs> I don't know, it's pretty close to 69. Yes, yeah, speak for yourself, really. But uh, if you are branded with that sign, you have nothing more to live for, so you should shove yourself from a cliff of great height. Wow! And fall to your death to join the satanic horde. As a member, you are far before death and above board. Some say they can see with, I suppose, satanic sight. That number 666 burned into the foreheads of those about to die. Now, why would I be the one here to lie? You heard me. As if I did so, would I not have the number on my head? Oh, my. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Dig it. Dig that crazy devil. <laughs> If you fear the evil of the devil transposed, hear me now, you are only supposed to drink the blood of the satanic high priest. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> when you are rightly told, so for now you can, no matter what, cease. Enjoy for now your existence on this earth, for with that number on your forehead, you are bound, eventually, to serve the satanic master. Um, it's all the words he's overusing, man. <laughs> <laughs> you, you get it. You get me. All right. Uh, here's one that's uh, surprisingly similar. A Great Man, A Great President by Ed Matlack. Oh. <laughs> Peace has finally come into the Reagan household. <laughs> Everybody here just lost a bet. <laughs> I was going for Harden. Harden? <laughs> Ronald Reagan, ex-president of the United States, has passed away, gone to the great horse ranch in the sky. <laughs> no. Um, a lover of horses and of people, Mr. Reagan today did die. <laughs> Two terms in office, over 50 movies, played opposite a chimp. 
<laughs> None of the, those could make Mr. Reagan skip a beat. Not even an assassination attempt. <laughs> could make this man skimp. He still fought hard to keep his office, did his job. He was definitely not a wimp. If this shows I did like this man, and yes, I did respect him, that is my point. I have never been much for politics, but this man I would have given my life for. No president since has earned my respect, I don't believe. Uh, no Clinton nor Bush for sure. This nation and the world has lost a great man, a fighter, a family man, a horse person. I didn't know he was a centaur. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, Reagan yeah. was a centaur. A president to remember! <laughs> <laughs> the president in the north. <laughs> okay, uh, Marijuana Rising, Bad Matlack. <laughs> I, I really can't pin this guy down. Uh, <laughs> legal or not, we smoke our pot. Keeping at home, not a lot. Personal use, none for a tot. Hopefully we don't get sworn by SWAT. <laughs> and a different scent, man did not invent. Grew naturally, have been sent. Didn't take man long to learn how to fer it ferment. Some have the power to join hallucinate. Some believe it's taste sour. You, know, you all know that personally, I find it to be great. I, it was prop. Yeah, that's Scott. That was definitely Scott. Um, <laughs> pick it up, pick it up. Uh, not long by Ed Matlack. <laughs> oh, and you're killing me. Before my internet, I lose. Looks like I'll be taking a lot of little snooze. <laughs> and reading much more than I now do. At least the computer itself will still be on when this bard, whoa, <laughs> will be otherwise gone. If not this month, it would be soon. No money to pay for this expensive opportune. I... Opportune. Opportune. Come on, guys. I cannot my job get back. And with social services, it's money I lack. <laughs> so if you don't see me about, know that I am thinking of you without doubt. I'm trying to scratch my way out of the bottom of my barrel. At least though I am drowning within my barrel too. Um, <laughs> from what it is filled with, a caramel malt with hop stout. Oh, that's it. Okay. <laughs> hey! <laughs> All right, you guys ready for it to get hot in here tonight? Yeah! All right, we got record boobs. She has the record. Sure as hell, she is not ignored. Clothes don't fit. Bet though her husband is never bored. <laughs> this is a ZZ Top song, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, you'll see. When she dies, will they cut them off? Whoa! No. 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 No, no they actually will not. That is not how that works. Why not? That's, that's sexy, right? That's sex. Oh, no? Oh, okay. It's a well, little. It's a little. Um, okay. In a coffin, she will not fit unless she buys a custom model. <laughs> Does she in life with those beasts have to waddle? Guinness says they are the biggest. Not sure if we should consider her blessed. In a car, she needs no airbags. <laughs> Personally, though, I am unimpressed. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Though there is one here that will be quite obsessed. All right. I think this is, this is our anthem here. This is by Cherie de Perrault, and it is 
A N I M E, designed to slay. Yeah. Oh my god. Uh, uh, author's note. With. Look, no, I don't. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah. Um, with all author's note, with all the furor over terrorist bombings and the like, tragic there is no doubt. But another form of terrorism has reached our shores: the swift, the silent, deadly blade. In stores now for you to rent or buy to further your child children's education on how to swing the sword amid all manner of perversion and foreign warship. <laughs> Sponsored by InfoWars. The Imperial Army in <laughs> The Imperial Army invaded Pearl Harbor. The Enola Gay defended America. But who's got control of the children's minds? You decide. <laughs> Vote on your phones now. <laughs> Who will control your children's minds? Satan! 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 Dad, may I have a sword? A katana samurai special. To play with outside, I promise I won't hurt my sister. Sure, son, that's okay with me. Check with your mother first to see if she agrees. But promise me you'll be careful. Mom, can I have a sword? A katana samurai special. It's a replica of the real one going cheap on eBay. Well, if it's only a replica and won't hurt anyone, I guess that's okay as long as you check with your father. Is this a poem? Yes, this is a poem. Yeah, it's, it's a poem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jesus, Philistine. Let me, let me live my art. Um, Dad, Mom said it's okay, so I can go ahead and order. They are going cheap. I promise I will be careful. Later. Screaming emerges from the yard where little Johnny is playing with little Sarah, pretending to be a warlord, being careful like he said he would, but he found his best sneakers chewed up by the family's newest addition, the pup. So he swung the razor-sharp sword. Now puppies in half on the back lawn. Oh, how they all regret. How they all wish. How they all churn with anguish. Knowing it could have been Sarah. They were lucky it was only the pup. But now they wish more than ever that they never allowed those games into the house where little Johnny watched them 24-7. A-N-I-M-E designed to slay Charles Perrault. Yeah! yeah! Achilles, motherfucker, Achilles!